Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this short video, we are going to solve a problem which is we have been given this number and we have to divide it by 45 and we have to see what is the remainder. Okay, so this number is pretty large and we cannot use even calculator to divide, so we have to use some sort of trick. So here if you notice the number, the number has some kind of pattern, right? So you can see the number is 1 followed by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and it goes up to 44, okay? And then finally we have one out of pattern number which is 65. So this whole thing makes our number which has to be divided by 45 and we have to identify the remainder fine so here you can see the number itself from which we have to I mean with which we have to divide that is 45 has two factors that is 9 and 5 of course 9 can further be factorized but for 45 we know that a number x is divisible by 45 if it is divisible by 9 and 5 both right so we have to see this given number is divisible by 9 or 5 I mean with both this number 9 and 5 or not okay so here you can see this number has 5 at unit place right so as it has 5 at unit place this number will be divisible by 5 right now our next point which is this remainder 9 so if while dividing by 45 if this number has some remainder which we don't know right now but if it has some remainder it will be due to this factor 9 right because if this big number is being divided by 9 in sorry this is 9 9 into 5 where we know this 5 is already completely dividing this number then if there is a remainder it will be caused by this 9 only right so by divisibility rule of 9 we know that if some of the digits of the number is divisible by 9 then the number will be divisible by 9 okay so let's find out whether some of this the digits of this number is divisible by 9 or not so to find out sum, what we will do, we have to find out 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, uh, sorry this is 4, 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus not 10, right, plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1, you understand this, right, you are not finding sum of the sequence okay you are finding sum of digits so here we will not take 10 as it as one digit it will be 1 and 0 okay so don't get confused here fine now so this will go go on up to 44 right so up to 4 plus 4 so we will use this thing as a pattern and here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 9 right then we have 1 plus 0 then we have 1 plus 1 here it will be 1 plus 2 then it will be 1 plus 3 and so on so you can notice that from 1 plus 0 to 1 plus 9 we have how many ones we have this one how many ones we will have 10 ones okay so we will have 10 ones so we can write 10 separately and then we can add plus this 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 9 okay so this whole thing 10 plus this number will be equivalent to this number am I clear okay let's understand it again here if we write we have pattern 10 11 12 right so if we add the digits it will be 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 and so on up to 1 plus 19 when I'm considering 10 to 19 only right we have further numbers we will come to that 
so for this if we separate this one one we will have ten ones and then we will have zero here we will have one plus one so this one here we will have one plus two so this two so one zero plus one plus two so I'm not writing zero one plus two plus three up to nine fine similarly we will have up to two plus zero that is twenty in our sequence to twenty nine that is 2 plus 9 we will have how many 2's we will have 10 2's okay so it will be 20 plus again this 1 plus 2 up to 9 right again the same thing will carry on for 30 to 39 okay so it will be how many 3's we will have 10 3's so it will be 30 and then we will have this 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 9 fine now we don't have 40 to 49 right we have 40 to 44 only so what we have to do now we will let's write it down so we will have now from here we will have or let's let's simplify so we will have 40 then okay write 4 plus 0 then we will have 41 we will have 42 then we will have 43 then we will have 44 so if we write plus 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 how many fours we have so we have 5 4 okay we have 5 fours so it will be 20 5 4 will be 20 plus we will add 1 2 3 4 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 will be 10 so it will be 10 fine so we have we have added up to here right now we have 65 remaining so we will add 65 right no we will add 6 plus 5 fine so now let's find out what is the sum of this thing whole thing so what is sum of this unit 1 to 9 so we can directly calculate it as 9 into 10 upon 2 so which will be equal to this is 5 and then it will be 45 so this unit will come out to be 45 so how many units we have like this so we have 4 units so it will be 45 into 4 plus we have 10 20 30 and again 30 so this will be 30 plus 30 60 plus 20 80 plus 10 90 so this will be 90 plus again 6 plus 5 is 11 so this will come out to be this is 90 sorry so this is uh, 180 okay plus this is 90 so it will be 270 and plus 11 so it will be equal to 281 fine so this is our sum of digits so now if we divide this sum which is 281 by 9 280, 281 by 9 we will have 9 3 sir. 27 we will get 1 here then 1 will come down and then it will be 1 so this is 9 2 so you have 2 remainder while dividing the sum of the digits right so if you don't know now let's establish a pattern again so let's say when I'm dividing some number by 9 where I'm getting remainder 2 then what are the possibilities okay so one thing will be this 9 plus 2 then it will be 18 plus 2 then it will be when you sum find out the sum of the digit of this number okay that is 1 1 is 2 okay similarly here this is again 2 this is here you can see this is 11 again 11 is if you find out the sum of digit it will be 2 right so what you can establish here is while taking 9 as a divisor we are getting these numbers which has remainder 2 while dividing with 9 right but if you notice again if you find out the sum of the digit for this number this number this number so
so whatever sum you get for example here you get 2 you get 2 here you get 11 here you get 11 here you get 11 right so for these also if you divide them by 9 you will get remainder 2 okay right 2 2 you are getting this pattern so it's like that if you divide a number x by 9 if you are getting remainder that is let's write it mod x modulo 9 and if you are getting remainder 2 then if you find out some of the digit of this x which may come out to be let's say sx then again if you divide it by 9 then remainder will be 2 okay so this is the pattern which we are getting now here if we are dividing the sum of the digit which is 291 by 9 we are getting 2 remainder it means we are doing reverse engineering and it means that that the number itself this larger number which was upper here so the when we divide the number itself by 9 then also we will get remainder 2 okay fine so so now we can say that let's say the number is n okay then n equal to 5 into let's say p that is n is completely divisible by 5 so it is 5p but n is equal to 9 into q plus 2 that is 2 is remainder okay so when we divide 9 the number with 9 we will have 2 remainder but it is divisible by 5 right so let's find out the number which is less than 45 because this is the number with which we are, we are dividing so remainder cannot be greater than 45 so the number less than 45 but divisible by 5 as well as at the same time when it is being divided by 9 gives us remainder 2 so here from the above example you can see that this number that is 18 that is let's not take 18 it is 9 into 2 plus 2 equal to 20 right so if we consider this number 20 when you divide 20 by 9 you get remainder 2 but this 20 is divisible by 5 completely right so 20 will be our remainder when this large number n which is 1 2 3 up to 44 and then 40 then 65 is divided by 45 okay so 20 will be the remainder right now you can uh, easily figure out that this 20 the portion of remainder will be divisible by 5 because the whole number is divisible by 5 right and when this portion of remainder is divided by 9 we will get remainder as 2 okay so this is our desired answer okay so if you have any doubt please ask your question in doubt section on tector.com thanks for watching